Hi guys, this is Sadek from Droidman.com and in this video, we'll show you how to root the Xiaomi EO ROM using Magisk. The steps are applicable across all the Android phones and across all the versions of Xiaomi EO ROM. For the sake of reference, I'll be using a Poco F4 which is running the latest version of Xiaomi EO ROM which is based on Android 13 or MIUI 14 as you can see from here. But the steps are near about applicable across all the Android phones that support the Xiaomi EO ROM, all the Xiaomi Redmi MI and Poco phones. On that note, let's get started. Please take a backup of all the data on your phone beforehand just to be on a safer side. Once that is done, your first course of action is to download and install the Android SDK platform tools. This is the official ADB binary given by Google and is required to execute ADB command. So download it from the link given in my guide and extract it onto your PC. You could extract them anywhere you want. In my case, I've done the extraction in E drive as you, as you could see. You could extract it anywhere you want on your PC. Once that is done, you will have to enable USB debugging on your phone. So for that, go to the set settings menu. From settings menu, you have to go to my device, then go to info and specs, and from there, tap on MIUI version seven times. You will get a prompt that you are now a developer. Now go back and again go back, then go to additional settings, and you should now see de developer options. So go there and enable the toggle next to OEM unlocking as well as USB debugging. Once that is done, you'll now have to wait for 10 seconds. In the meantime, check mark, I'm aware of the risk. Now wait for 10 seconds and once that time frame has elapsed, just tap on OK. With this, USB debugging has been enabled and you will get an RSA key fingerprint prompt. So tap on OK. Once that is done, let's now verify the ADB debugging connection. So for that, you have to go to the platform tools folder on your PC and from the platform tools folder, go to its address bar, type in CMD and hit enter. This will launch a command prompt window inside platform tools folder as you could see. So type in ADB devices and hit enter. Make sure you are getting a serial ID. If you are not getting a serial ID, then unplug and replug your phone from the PC, disable and re-enable USB debugging, tap on revoke USB debugging, use the official USB cable that came with your phone and use the USB 1.0 port on your PC. So carry out this USB tweaks and make sure you are getting a serial ID. Once you are getting this ID, you could now move on to next step. Next step, you now have to unlock the booter on your phone. Since you're already on a custom ROM, the booter would already be unlocked. If you still have any queries or issue, you could refer to my guide to see how to unlock the booter using the Me Unlock tool. I've also made a video on the same. You could go and refer there. Once that is done, you should get the unlock successful message in the Me Unlock tool. So once you've unlocked the booter, let's now move on to the next step. So next step, you now have to extract the stock boot IMG file from the Xiaomi EU ROM. So make sure to download the same ROM which is currently installed on your phone. So for the sake of reference, let me show you. For that, go to the settings menu. From there, go to my device and check out the MIUI version. As you could see, in my case, it's currently 14.0.5.0 TL MCNN XM. So you should download the exact same version which is being shown on your device inside the MIUI version section. So in my case, I went to this link and from the stable link, I chose my phone as well as the MIUI 14 build. So let me now open and show you the link as well. So just go to the MIUI version 14 and search for the device code name. In my case, it's Munch. And I have downloaded this ROM. As you can see, it's the same one which is on my device. So make sure to download the same firmware version which is on your phone. Once you've done the download, it will be in a zip format as you could see. So you have to extract the zip file and then you will get the extracted folder over here. Once you've done the extraction, go inside the folder, then go to the images folder. And now you have to copy the boot IMG file from here. So copy the boot IMG file and then transfer it onto your phone. So as you could see, I placed the boot IMG file onto my phone. This is the boot.img file. So if your phone is not visible on your PC, then you could go to the notification panel and from here, check my, enable the toggle next to USB file transfer and select file transfer from here. This will make your phone visible on your PC. Then you could choose your phone from here and transfer the boot.img file onto your phone. Once that is done, you'll now have to download the Magisk APK file. So for that, you could refer to my guide and let me show you once. So open this link and at the time of recording, the latest Magisk is version 25.2. So you could directly grab hold of the APK file from the table of content box and jump over to this link. From here, you should see that it's the latest build. You could also verify the chain log from GitHub if you want, or you could directly download the file from here. Once you have downloaded the file, place it onto your phone. So let me show you, this is the Magisk APK file which is here onto my phone. This is the internal storage. So make sure you have both the boot IMG file of the Xiaomi EU ROM and the Magisk APK file onto your phone. Once you have both this file, let's now proceed ahead and patch the boot IMG file via Magisk. So go to your phone and just a minute. So go to your phone and from here, launch the file manager app. And within that, you have to select the Magisk app. So tap on it and 
it will not load the file and the so tap on install and it should only take a few seconds once that then tap on launch and this will launch the magisk app so if it's asked for permission tap on allow and with this you now have to tap on install next to magisk then choose select and patch a file now you have to choose the boot img file which we have just extracted from the xiaomi eu rom so let me choose the boot img file but before that let me show you something so as of now as you could see my phone is currently not rooted i'm using the root checker app from play store you could install it so let me first show you so as you could see my phone is currently not rooted and it's running the xiaomi eu rom version 13 but it's not rooted so our ultimate aim will be to root this phone anyways now coming back to the status so now we'll have to install the magic apk file once you have installed the apk file launch it then let me show you once again so from here tap on install next to magisk then select and patch a file now choose the boot img file from the xiaomi eu rom and then tap on let's go and it will now patch the boot img file the process will only take a few seconds once that is done the file should be placed in the downloads folder onto your phone so let me show you that as well the process should just get completed in a matter of few seconds so as you can see we have gone the done message so now launch the file manager app onto your phone and from here go to the downloads folder and here as you can see this is the magic patch apk file sorry magic patch img file so you will now have to transfer this file to your phone to your pc so go to your pc and then go to the internal storage of your phone go to its download folder and copy the magic patch img file from here and you have to paste this file inside the platform tools folder so just paste it over here so with this we have got the magic patch file as you could see so we will now have to boot our phone using this magic patch file for that we'll first and foremost have to boot your phone to fast boot mode for booting to fast boot mode you just need to execute this command so let me show you just open cmd window inside platform tools and type in adb reboot bootloader and hit enter your phone should now boot to fast boot mode and should only take a few seconds you could also use the hardware key combination for that you have to power off your phone and then press and hold the power and volume down keys that is not a you that is not universally accepted so you should always use the adb command which is accepted across all the phones anyways as you could see our phone is now in the fast boot mode and let's now verify the password connection so type in password devices and make sure you're getting a serial id if you're not getting a serial id then you'll have to install fastboot drivers onto your pc for that i made a guide as well as a video on the same you could refer to my guide all the video and then make sure to install the fastboot drivers onto your pc right, right away so let me show you this is the guide in the video you could refer to any of these two things and ins install the fastboot drivers and once you have installed the fastboot driver you should then get the serial id so this is the video i was talking about so once you have installed the driver you should get a serial id next to your phone likewise use the windows x shortcut key and select device manager from there you have to expand the android phone section and under the android phone section make sure your device is being shown as android bootload interface so as you could see it's showing as android bootload interface and we are also getting a serial id next to fastboot so this signifies that the phone is able to identify our pc is able to read our phone in the fastboot mode and we are now good to go ahead so next up we'll now be booting our phone using the magic patch boot image file so for the ease of convenience let's rename it to something else so i'll be renaming it to magic patch boot because it becomes easier to identify so the complete name become magic patch boot.img so make sure the file is has been renamed and it's there in the platform tools folder once that is done open the cmd window inside platform tools and now just you have to type in fast boot boot magisk patch which is the name of the file replace the name according what is the name of your file so in my case it's a magisk patch boot file so type in fast boot boot name of the file and hit enter your phone should now boot using the magisk patch boot img file and the first boot up would take up a few additional seconds that's completely normal do keep in mind that you should never flash the boot image file that you should only boot your phone using the magic patch boot image file if everything goes well and good then you could easily flash it using the magic direct install method but for the first time you should always use the boot command and never use the path to flash boot this is because it could cause quite a lot of issues i'll talk about that later on as well anyways as of now let's now launch the magic app so it should be there on our phone so just simply launch it and the first time it could take a few additional seconds to load up that's completely normal so let's wait while the app is being loaded and from subsequent time it will not take that much time so as you could see the magic file has been installed on, onto our phone and 
as of now our phone is rooted but it's just a one time root temporary root because we have just used the fast food boot command we have not flashed the file so it's just for a one time root if you restart your phone then the root will be gone so we'll now have to make the root permanent for that tap on install next to magisk and then select direct install and now type on let's go magisk will now flash the boot img file and it should only take a few seconds so let's wait for the time frame it will automatically repack and unpack the boot img file and, and flash it onto the boot partition or the onto your phone so as you could see it's currently flashing the boot image and it should only take a few more seconds and after that we have to restart our phone so let's wait for the time frame and then so as you could see the flashing is now complete so now type on reboot and as i was saying you should never use the fast boot flash boot command because if there's something wrong with the magic pad boot file your phone might end up in the soft break or boot loop state however if you simply use the fast boot boot command and if something is wrong with the boot file then upon a subsequent reboot your device will automatically boot to the os it will replace the magic pad boot with the soft boot so it's always recommended to opt for the boot command and if everything is well and good you could then use the direct install method similarly to what we are doing now so never flash the boot image file always first boot it and then use the direct install method anyways let's now open the app and show you the process so let me now launch the magic app and as you could see our phone has now been permanently rooted and the root has been installed permanently just to verify the same let me launch the root checker app and let me now tap on the verify root so as you could see our phone has been rooted by a magic and the root access has been granted so you could verify the same form here as well so if i launch the magic app and go to super user as you could see root checker app has been granted the root privilege likewise under the logs as well you could verify the same form here as well so guys on that note i round up this video on how you could root the zomi eu rom it's currently for android 13 and MIUI 14 but the steps are applicable across all the versions of the rom just to repeat please never flash the boot img file you should always first boot the file if everything is working well and good then use the direct install method of magis to obtain permanent root so with that in mind i round up this video if you have any queries do let me know in the comment section and guys please like this video and subscribe to the channel for more tips and tricks thanks a lot for watching